الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله a question was asked about praying over someone of Ahl al-Bid'ah in the prison and whether the brothers should pray over him or not. And so, Ahabati Fillah, it's very important to remember that the asl of the Muslim is salama, is that the Muslim is sound and is your, your brother, any Muslim. So, the base qaida here, the base issue that we have to remember, Ahabati Fillah, is that the person is a Muslim. So the, in the question, they mentioned a particular sect. And again, that goes back to Qawaid and Usul, Usul al Sunnati wa Jama'ah. And they mentioned they're from sect so-and-so. Can the brothers pray behind him? And this is a question in the prison. Number one, going back to the Asl, is that as long as a person has the Aqidah of a Muslim, they believe they are a Muslim. They're not from a group like the Nation of Islam, where they believe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was a man, or they don't worship imams, or awliya, or saints, or prophets, or anything that takes you out of the fold of Islam. Then they should be preyed upon. And another point of Habatifillah that may require further looking into is that if the person has some issues in their aqidah which could denote disbelief but they were not aware but they regarded themselves and they were with the Muslims then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best but perhaps for the maslaha of the jama'ah, because when you're incarcerated in a prison system, in a non-Muslim society, they're looking at you as Muslims. And if they see the Muslims are divided and the Muslims, this, you know, they see the person, he's a Muslim. So they say, hey, you guys handle the burial rights or what have you, or the family says that. Perhaps there will be quite a bit of fasad or mafsada if the people said, no, 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 he's not from our sect. He's not from our group. So it's very important to realize that as long as a person is a Muslim, they were considered a Muslim by the Jama'ah, and especially in a restricted environment such as that in the prison, then it is best, bi'idnillah ta'ala, to pray over them for the maslaha of the Jama'ah. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Bless us with ikhlas, with thabat ala sunnah, wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.